In today's lesson, we'll talk about a weak map class which was introduced in PHP 8. Before we dive right into it, let's do a quick refresher on how objects are stored and what happens when you assign an object to another variable, like shown in this example. We covered this in lesson 2.16 where we talked about object comparison, how variables are stored including objects, a zval container, and so on. So if you haven't watched that lesson, I highly recommend to go back to it and watch it because it will help you understand this lesson. I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description so check it out when you have time. So in this example we are simply creating a new object of invoice class and we are assigning it to a variable called invoice1. We are then assigning invoice1 to a new variable called invoice2. And the invoice class itself is very simple, it only contains a destructor just for the purposes of this example. We are also not going to be using any routing or controllers for this example, so we'll be running our code in terminal to test it out. So what's happening here behind the scenes is that invoice1 and invoice2 variables are created and its names are stored in something called symbols table separate from their values. Then they simply point to some data structure in memory which is called a zval or zend value container. It has some information about the variable like its data type and value. The thing is though when storing objects this zval container does not store the object directly. Instead it stores some sort of identifier or id of the object which then points somewhere else in memory where the actual object is stored. So when we're assigning invoice 1 to invoice 2 what is actually happening behind the scenes is that invoice2 variable gets created with its own zval container but it has the copy of the same object identifier which points to the same object in memory. So essentially invoice1 and invoice2 are two different variables but they point to the same object. Now what do you think will happen if we unset invoice1? Will invoice2 also get unset or will it stay? Let's think about it. So if we look at this diagram and we know that invoice1 and invoice2 are two different variables that point to the same object, when one of them is removed, the other one is still pointing to the object, right? This means that PHP will not garbage collect the object and it will not destroy it because there is still some sort of reference to that object. PHP will garbage collect it once there are no more references to the object. In fact, we can actually test this out very quick. Let's var dump invoice2 right after the onset. And also let's echo something out before the onset is called. Let's run the code in terminal. So we'll do php public index. And as you can see, the object2 is not destroyed and the destructor runs after the var dump of the invoice2, which happens because it's the end of the script and object is destroyed. But what one might expect is that invoice2 would also get destroyed when invoice1 is unset since they're pointing to the same object, in which case destructor would have to run before var dumping the invoice2. But as you can see, that is not the case here and destructor runs at the end because the script finishes. Let's comment out the assignment of invoice1 to invoice2 here and let's also comment out the var dump. We can also copy the echo statement and put it right after unset and we can say that we've unset invoice1. And let's run the code now to see when the destructor runs. So we'll execute public index.php again and as you can see we see the first echo statement then the destructor runs and then we see the second echo statement which means that it was garbage collected properly because there are no more references to that object and therefore PHP does not need it anymore and it cleans it up. To kind of help with cases where object is not prevented from being garbage collected while retaining a reference, something called weak reference class was introduced in PHP 7.4. When object only has weak references and object is unset, it will be garbage collected, which is very useful for things like cache implementations. PHP 8 takes weak reference to a new level by introducing something called a weak map class, which allows us to have collections of weak references which can be garbage collected. Let's open the documentation of weak map class and read the formal definition. A weak map is a map or a dictionary that accepts objects as keys. However, unlike the otherwise similar SPL object storage, an object in a key of weak map does not contribute toward the object's reference count. That is, if at any point the only remaining reference to an object is the key of a weak map, the object will be garbage collected and removed from the weak map. It's 
primary use case is for building caches of data derived from an object that do not need to live longer than the object. So this kind of makes sense. Basically a weak map is just a key value array store where keys are objects instead of being numeric or string. But what is this SPL object storage here? SPL object storage is basically a hard map where it allows you to use objects as keys to create an object map. But it has hard references rather than weak references. The problem with it is that when you use object as a key there, it creates a hard reference to that object. When the object is supposed to be destroyed, whether it's on set or it falls out of scope, it will not be garbage collected for the same reason as shown in the example when we assigned invoice 1 to invoice 2. Because there is still a reference in the SPL object storage map and this can cause memory leaks. Weak map uses weak references so that when object falls out of scope, like when it's unset, if the only reference of that object is in the weak maps, then it will simply be garbage collected and removed along with its value from the weak map. So let's create a weak map object and add some value to it using the invoice object as the key. So we're going to create a map here. So we'll do map equals new weak map and we'll simply use the invoice one as a key here and add some kind of value to it. So we could basically add additional data to this invoice object outside of the invoice object itself. In this case, I'm going to use an array. So we'll do A equals to one and B equals to two. Now let's var dump the weak map so we can see what it is and let's also echo out the count of weak map. Now let's comment these things out for now. Let's run the code. And as you can see, weak map is just an object where the key is our invoice object and the value is whatever we set it to. We could access this by using invoice one as the key, just like we would access any regular array. So we would do something like var dump map invoice one and we can add exit statement here. So if you run the code, we see that it works. Now let's bring the onset back to the invoice one and see what happens. I'm going to remove this and we're going to move this right up here and we're going to var dump the count before and then var dump the count after and then we can var dump the map as well. Let's clear the terminal. Let's run the code. And as you can see, the first time we do the var dump of the count of map, we have one, which means that it only has one element in it. And then when we unset invoice one, a destructor runs, which means that invoice one gets garbage collected and it also gets removed from the weak map and we can see that weak map object is now empty and it also removes the value so we no longer have the value and we no longer have the object and it got garbage collected and cleaned up so what happened is that because the invoice one object had no other references other than it being a reference within the weak map itself php garbage collected it and removed it from the weak map along with its value unlike spl object storage which would prevent garbage collection on the object even when the object was unset because it is a hard map and has hard reference to that object and therefore if you were to use SPL object storage here when you would unset invoice one it would not remove that object or its value from the SPL object storage which could cause memory leaks in your application. So what are some of the use cases for weak maps you might be asking? First of all there is a good chance that you probably will not use weak maps directly but rather you will use some package or a framework that uses weak maps behind the scenes. That being said though, weak maps can be used to implement caching, memoization, prevent memory leaks in long running processes and so on. You can also use weak maps to associate objects with some additional information that is not directly available in the object or that should not directly be available in the object. There are a couple of things that you should know about weak maps. For one, you cannot use non-objects as keys. It will throw an exception. For example, if we did something like map hello equals world, this is not going to work and as you can see it's underlining it right here. It's going to throw an exception. So if you run the code, we see that we get an exception. You also can't append a new element to a weak map by using the brackets. So we cannot do something like this. If I run the code now, we see that we get an exception as well. Trying to access a non-existing key will also result in exception. So if we try to do something like echo map invoice two, and then we created a second object here, which we did not add into the weak map, this is going to throw an exception. So if we run the code, we see that invoice two object is not contained in the weak map. 
So this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button, post any questions, comments, or feedback down in the comments. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.